identifying rural, peri-urban and urban areas. For the identification of rural, peri-urban and urban areas in Pakistan, we can opt different types of the methodologies. For example, according to Qadir, Shemit and Vakas, they developed an agglomeration index to categorize the areas under the subheading of rural, peri-urban peri and urban areas. And for this categorization of the areas, they basically use their indicators. And these indicators belong to population size of a city, population density, and travel time to a major city. According to them, an urban area is an area where population density is greater than 150 people per square kilometer. And this area is located within one hour travel time from a city of population of 500,000 500, people. According to them, peri-urban areas are those areas that are located between one and three hours travel time from a city of at least a population of 500,000 people. And here they did not consider the population density of people living in that area. Then when you define the rural area, an area that is located more than three hours of the travel time from a city, of at least 500,000 people. Or here they did not consider the population density. So they basically, basically categorized an area, peri-urban area, if travel distance is one to three hours from a major city. And, and if this travel time is more than three hours, they categorize this area as a rural area. If we talk rural area ke characteristics, ki baat kare, to these rural areas ha, has low population, density they are using the agricultural they are using the land for agricultural purpose, purposes and there is limited infrastructure and settlements are scattered in the rural areas and rural areas are usually surrounded by nature lekin jab aap urban areas ke characteristics urban areas ko define karo to hum wahan pe dekh sakte hain there is high population density there is commercial and residential land use and extensive infrastructure and at the same time, there are economic and cultural sector in urban areas. But when we define peri-urban areas, these are basically transitional zones that lie between urban and rural areas. And what is happening With the passage of time, there is increasing population density and there is diverse land use. For agriculture, it is also used for residential purposes and also for commercial purposes. And here is infrastructure emerge with the passage of time and this is a mix of rural and urban settlements. But when we talk Pakistan ke reference to this discussion, which is our statistics, hai, those statistics mostly categorized our areas under the subheading of rural and urban category. For example, if we talk about one table, mein, agar hum percentage of population ki baat kare, for population of 10 years and above and the labor force by gender in year 2020-21, we can observe very interesting effects of If you look at the rural area, then your population, which is relatively greater portion of the population is living in rural area as compared to urban areas. Then if we look at the first row, Pakistan ke reference, if we look at the discussion, then we can observe that your female labor force hai, that is more employed in rural areas as compared to urban areas. Kaji, aapke paas jo rural areas hain, wahan pe almost 13.95 percent aapki jo labor force hai, female labor force that is employed. Or jo aapke paas total female hain, wahan pe wo, that is 49.88 percent. Lekin jab aap isi statistics ko unemployed ki subheading mein dekho. So, we observe that in rural areas, female unemployment is less than the female unemployment in urban areas. And its main reason is that in the rural areas, females are involved in the activities that are, that are carried out in the agricultural production. They are involved in farming activities to produce the agricultural output.